Hi, Clint Dash, Crespi Wine of Spirits. In this video, I'd like to share a little bit about how to pair wines with your Thanksgiving dinner. Fortunately, turkey is a very versatile meat. It's light enough to pair with a lot of whites, and it's very flavorful, so you can pair with some medium-bodied reds as well. Just keep the tannins low. Pinot Noir, Merlot, Beaujolais Village, Beaujolais Nouveau, all those uh, soft, fruity, flavorful reds will work just fine. We'll talk about reds a little bit more. In this video, I want to focus on the whites. You need whites with good, balanced acidity, and you could go dry, you can go sweet, depending on the things you're serving with it. One note on sweetness. Some of the desserts, people always want to pair uh, wines with desserts. That's okay. Just as make sure that the level of sweetness in your wine matches or exceeds the dessert. So in other words, in a very sweet uh, pecan pie, say, you may want to serve with a pork or a sherry, something that's very, very sweet. Now, let's start talking about the whites. So in the white wine category, I chose six different white wines that I think would pair really good with turkey. We're going to talk about a Riesling, a Gewürztraminer, which is a dry Gewürztraminer, very perceptible, very low, low uh, residual sugar. Gruner Veltliner, and we'll talk about um, a Sal Blanc, which actually happens to be a French Sal Blanc, no oak. Um, the Chardonnay is no oak, uh, a lot of fruit flavors that come through. And then we'll talk a little bit about Albarino. First, let's start with these aromatic whites that I mentioned in the beginning. The Riesling is an off-dry Riesling. In other words, it's not dry, it's slightly past midway to sweet, but um, you'll still have some of that sweetness that you get with Riesling. If you're a Riesling drinker or you like sweeter wines, this is gonna be a perfect pairing for turkey. Uh, it has a lot of tree fruits, uh, citrus flavors, lemon, lime, um, so a lot of minerality. Uh, it goes really good with the white meat. Then we get to dry Gewürztraminer. Gewürztraminer, Gewürz actually just means spice, and you'll see a lot of those same tree fruits, a little honey and pineapple. Uh, allspice is actually something that you'll find in this wine, which is, uh, is a little side note. Um, if you like really spicy uh, Asian food, you might try this with even like Thai food. And then we move on to Gruner Veltliner. Gruner Veltliner may be the uh, Pinot Grigio drinker's wine uh, for this Thanksgiving. Gruner Veltliner has um, a lot of those same citrus and tree fruits. Uh, it's very crisp, acidic. Um, it's actually one of my favorite choices for turkey dinner. And this Gruner Veltliner burger actually has a really cool cap instead of a wine cork, which is kind of neat and a good conversation over the holidays. This aromatic white category, as I call it, um, when you walk in our store, you'll find all the old world wines up front. You'll see French whites and reds. You'll see the Italian reds. You'll see all those old world um, varietals and blends of wine. And then you'll get to the new world that is separated out by actual grape. And one area, this first area of that section is aromatic whites. We also have uh, dry rosé on that. And by the way, dry rosé could be a lot of fun with uh, turkey and especially some of the fruitier sides like cranberries and things like that. Now let's talk a little bit about some of the more traditional whites, Chardonnay and things like that. Some of the more traditional whites that you may have enjoyed with turkey in the past are Chardonnay and Sauvignon Blanc. I've chosen a little bit different Chardonnay here. This is an unoaked Chardonnay. If you don't know what unoaked means, it just means there's no oak treatment in the finishing process. It hasn't spent any time in oak barrels or oak bats. It has no oak chips added to it that give it, that sometimes tend to mask all those fruit flavors that we enjoy in Chardonnay. This allows for a real lively uh, crispness and, and uh, uh, peaches and nectarine and all those tree fruits and, and fruit flavors that we normally enjoy in Chardonnay just to come through. It goes really good with the lighter turkeys. Then Sauvignon Blanc, this actually happens to be a white Bordeaux, so it's 60% Sauvignon Blanc and 40% Sauvignon. This wine is very citrus and florally, uh, very crisp and uh, medium acidity, very good with turkey. This may be one that I'm taking home myself this year. Then the very last one actually kind of falls into the aromatic whites category in my store. We have it on the Spanish rack because it comes from Spain, but we can also call it an aromatic white very easily. It's Albarino, La Cana Albarino. And it comes from a reaspicious region of Spain. This wine has white peach, white pear, um, good acidity, and goes really good with um, chicken, seafood, salads. 
Um, it's going to be a perfect pairing with turkey this year as well. I hope that knowing a little bit about each of these different grapes helps you venture out a little bit and try some other things that are really going to enhance the food and maybe even impress your friends a little bit. If you want more information, you can always see these blogs with our videos on our website, or you can go to the educational section of CrestviewLiquor.com to find more in-depth detail about some of these grapes. Clint Ash, Crestview Wine and Spirits, I'll see you in the next video.